yeah, back again. It's been a while, but a bit of a hiatus. I've been digging quite a lot of my jumps and getting them ready for filming project I've got coming up. But I'm gonna head back out to the jumps today, do a bit of digging, ride the airbag for a bit, and I might ride the bone log for a little bit. Um, but yeah, come along for the ride. So yeah, just got out to the compound, and it's looking dreamy as always. But today I need to clear this area really and just get rid of most of the rock because it's just horrible. Um, that's job one. And then why the airbag? But yeah, let's get on with it. So I've re raked all that down. It's got quite a lot of rock in it, so I'm gonna have to riddle it out and make it to good dirt. But because I'm the laziest person in the world and there's always ways to do things mechanically, I've made myself a mechanical riddle. So this thing is basically just a cement mixer that I've just cut chunks out the side of it, put mesh in, so when it spins, all the rock comes through. And, uh, well, rock stays in, all the mud comes through, so we get all the good stuff out. It makes my life 10 times easier. But yeah, I'll fire that up and uh, get cracking with that beast. It's a bit of a beast. Green for actually building set with. Yeah, it's quite loud, it's quite noisy, but it gets the job done. Yeah, I'm gonna crack on and get all this done, and then it will be perfecto. So yeah, that probably took about 25, 30 minutes. But they end up with this. Not a lot, because I've got it such a fine mix, but it's just pure powder. It's incredible. Like, it packs. You can make basically make snow walls out of it. It's immense. So yeah, I'm going to spread that all over the whole landing. Uh, the berm, sorry. And uh, show you how she looks afterwards. Kind of massive rock in the middle of the berm. Then they're making a right hole out of that. So yeah, chuck it back through the middle, run it all through again, get rid of the rock, put it back in again, and she'll be sweet, raise the rock and roll. Then I'm gonna brush the rest of it, get a bit of water, and then I'm just gonna ride it in. Just gonna roll down the land in and just roll around it. Pack it in that way. It's way better than just hitting it with shovels. So let's get on with it. So I might have got a little bit carried away. I end up doing that whole ramp again and all of this. But yeah, heading over to the airbag. Battery's about to die on my GoPro, so I'll see what I can get and then uh, go from there. I might be back for another session, but let's get this puppy pumped up. So while that airbag pumps up, I'm just gonna put my pads on, but on other news, I had a new set of shoes turned up for my knees yesterday. Pretty fire. Epic for riding in. These are my favorite ones. They are the Jeffersons. Yeah, Jefferson mids. Um, I just love these, these are my favourites, so, and they're furry, which is nice. But yeah, pad up time and get a session on. So after being here for four and a half hours, I'm finally going to drop in. <laughs> Alright, start off with the uh, mandatory front flip to get this day started. Alright, oh, sketchy climb up. Oh, it's not that sketchy. Just carry your bike up to the top. Um, right, let's go on it straight back in. Uh, three double bar. So the other little addition that's been made to the compound. There's now a nice big dirt lip. So you can roll in from that landing, straight in, jump that, and then you can blast the last one. Nice little warm up line. 
Um, but I can't bother to move that top to ride it, so I'm gonna hit the burn lock quickly and hit the last jump. Drop in. Oh, I love my compound. Straight back up here again. I don't really like riding the um, main line when I'm out here on my own because it's just not the safest. Airbags can do it a bit nicer. You can get rid of crashing out a little bit harder on it. So back on this beast. Um, I'm going to go for three down whip, I think. Kind of like knees the other day. Try it again, try and do a three table. Always struggled with these, especially when I'm on BMX stuff, I could never do them. I've kind of got it to click on this, so see how it goes. <laughs> Starts coming in, I'll see to get it to fold a bit more. I just need that little bit more of a fold. I'm not Tommy G yet, but uh, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna try and click that a little bit more. I think I bent my knees too much. I've got to try and fold it, let it fold a bit more. Let's try again. Kind of, I just can't get it to fold properly. Something she just fold it on BMX because the bike's half the size of this thing. Try and get a good cash roll. Woo! I need to work out how to pop them a bit harder. I keep landing quite deep, but should be all good. Ugh. I don't want to know how many times I've climbed this ladder now. Do a cork seven. Oh, I love that trick. So blind, so confusing. Quick flip whip. Oh, I wonder if I can do one the other way. Flip oppo whip. I'm on them one of those for a while. Why do I open my big mouth? I've got the um, I've got my other camera down on the chairs down there, recording a wide angle for this. So let's uh, see how it goes. I think I've done one of this for like over a year. We're getting close to a year. All right, all right, do it. Whoa. Almost was nasty. Bike stopped on me. <laughs> Came round though, almost. Just need that tiny bit more. Right, let's get there and do it again. <sighs> Alright, try again. It pretty much came round. I just it just stopped at 90, so just try and kick it a bit harder, I guess, and hope it comes round. Uh, did it again. Stopped on me. Uh, we'll look back at the uh, wide angle and see how that goes. Instant replay. All right, third time lucky. Tomahawk there. That sucked. <laughs> Might give up on this for the day. I'll wait till there's people here to 
pick me up off the floor if I span on myself. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. All right, let's move on to something different. That sucked. <laughs> so as I'm here and I've got the airbag and I've got the old GoPro Max with me, um, I'm gonna stick it on my helmet on a big extension, big long thing like this, put it miles above my head and uh, do some flip combos and see what it looks like. Might look pretty cool, might look rubbish. Who knows, we're about to find out. I'm actually gonna put the Max on my full face just cause you have to do the strap down so tight on a, like a normal like freestyle helmet that it just hurts insanely so put it on the full face it's all wrapped down a bit better then it doesn't move as much a little more comfortable i don't strangle myself which is always a bonus all right chuck that on and i'll be at the top i don't know if you can hear me but i'm gonna go for a flip no hander <laughs> or not, because that moves all the way to the face. So yeah, let's try that again. Um, I'm going to try it with the dip just all the way down like it positioned itself into and see what that looks like. If it wants to be there, it can be there. I don't really mind. Right, same again, flip my hander. It does make the helmet like do this though, which is a bit annoying. Right, crowd favourite, dropping in. Everyone loves double flip. Come on, they are the best. All right, I'm getting tired and hungry, so I'm gonna call it quits and head home. But yeah, cheers for coming along for my day, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.